Um, but I, I obviously there's a number of parents um, that we've been uh, speaking with over the last several days, uh, and just obviously want to apologize um, for the state of the football field and the other fields um, uh, within the school district. That's obviously something we're all disappointed in at, at this point. Um, and uh, moving forward, we are going to put in 110 percent to make sure uh, the fields are in playing condition for the remainder of the fall and for spring sports. So. Um, I do apologize, it is frustrating, but we are working on it um, daily. At this past school committee meeting, the committee addressed the condition of the high school athletic fields. So um, with the severe drought and heat conditions um, and repairs needed to the irrigation systems, the athletic fields have suffered over the past summer. Um, there were issues identified last summer with irrigation and wells, and I requested and received funding in uh, the FY17 budget to make those repairs. Um, we made pairs over the summer to um, we did different um, mm -hmm. scales of, um, of work to uh, five the five wells two of them were completely rebuilt um, at this time the irrigation system is up and running and we've um, done some remediation to uh, to game fields including aerating seeding fertilizing and, and extensive watering uh, the fields are on their way back uh, field five should be ready uh, field three should be ready for next um, uh, next Friday's football game, um, and we'll continue to um, irrigation work and field remediation uh, throughout the fall and uh, and in the spring. And, um, and I also echo um, Mr. Gosha's um, concerns and and our apologies. And um, I'm feeling uh, terrible about the whole thing. So. The Hillers football team were forced to move their first two home games to Medway High School because of the condition of the field, and a number of other Hillers sports teams have had to play at the Fruit Street fields. What about field 10 and some of the other fields, are those also being having remedial work done on them to bring them up? Um, field play? 10 was another um, uh, field that was recently irrigated and seeded and enrolled. Um, and um, that's it's coming back a little slower, but sure. um, it's, it is coming back. So, thank you. Anybody else have questions? I have a just a mm -hmm. random budget question. So, when we have to have an away game that wasn't scheduled, do we have any issues paying for anything associated with that? Do you have to? Are well, we going to see like a budget hit because it, of it, this it's kind of thing? The, the cost to go to Med is not substantial. Okay. It can be absorbed within the. Okay. But, but we're also concerns. renting fields at, at Fruit Street. It's not going to go without a budget hit, and we're going to have and to make all the air rating and seating. We're going to have to make decisions as a result within within our budget constraints. Um, this is a priority, as as uh, Mr. Ghosh stated. Okay. So this is a priority, and we understand and do not minimize how important it is for kids to have safe and well cared for fields to play on. We really value our athletic program, and so even though it, it's going to be at a cost, um, it's at a cost that we didn't anticipate and we're going to have to make some decisions about things that perhaps we won't be able to do. Okay. And then the wells, because the town's in a drought state, because we have the wells, that's where So I know people that. have been asking about that as well and we did get permission okay. um, to be able to water because it was, it is wells. One of the things that I also think is not understood is that even though we were working on the irrigation system all summer long, um, there were also challenges, and so the, the assumption is you have wells, why weren't you watering? Um, because we were at the same time struggling with and dealing with issues with the wells as a result of problems with the pumps. So these were all things that Mr. Rogers had budgeted for. I think he told us um, earlier that there had been $20,000 budgeted towards that. It wasn't that he wasn't aware of it. Um, but if people drive the loop road and they, and see, they see the watering, they, know they, drought, they we do have it, private wells, and that's and we got permission. And we did hear that them. just today. Yes, so it's important I didn't for even people. Know you heard that? I was just asking. No, we did. Okay. Yeah, right out there on the okay. field. So it, it's it's fair enough question for people who have been told they can't water their flowers. Um, okay. So yes, that's the answer okay, to thanks. that. The school committee has announced they have opened an application process for anyone interested in joining a subcommittee to help improve the athletic fields at the high school.